What's up everybody, Arg the Pirate here, and today I'm going to be testing out Godmother versus kind of that Unbroken Spirit build, and I really want to compare the two, see when the tipping point is, and actually see if Godmother is worth it. Now I'm going to start my comparison at 16 points. That's 13 in versatility and 3 in agility. This is going to allow me to put on Unbroken Spirit and Exoskeleton, which is 13 total points, and have that Godmother on that's 13 points. I did try to do two separate recordings, but I was constantly at a different hero level, so I wanted to just kind of balance it out, and this was the easiest way. Now you can see here I hit for 100 damage for one hit and 99 for the other giving us a total of 995 after 10 hits. Now once I head back to base, I just swap that Godmother out for Unbroken Spirit and Exoskeleton, like I said. I kind of want to keep this a baseline and really, you know, compare the cards versus the damage. I have the exact same gems, you know, this is the exact same recording, so I'm same player level, everything's the exact same, it's just the cards that are different. And you can see here, I'm hitting for 98 damage per hit. So that is actually a decrease in damage with Unbroken Spirit. So at 16,000 gold, Godmother Vigilant offers 299 more health and 15 more damage after 10 hits. Which, you know, that is a substantial amount for in the early game. But... The Unbroken Spirit does offer that massive amount of ability armor, as well as you can have that exoskeleton on, which will also, you know, reduce basic damage. So it is kind of a toss-up. I would say they're pretty close to being even at 16,000 gold. The next test I do is at 21 points, or 21,000 gold, and I go with Unbroken Spirit, Exoskeleton, and Thunder Cleaver. Now, it's kind of hard to put Thunder Cleaver in, so I'm just going to go with the base damage. And my thinking behind this was, it is more of a tanky build because Thunder Cleaver does have that armor. So you are at 2,806 health, and you do 1,190 damage on a single target after 10 hits. Now, I head back to base and I put on Godmother. I still am at that 21 points. So, I'm really kind of just focused on single targets, even though Thunder Cleaver does have that amazing cleave and it will increase your wave clear. But when we do the more comparison, we can talk about that then. Now, Godmother at 21 points does 107 damage. So that you have a total of 3,362 health and you do 1,070 damage after 10 hits. Now at 21,000 gold, Godmother Vigilant has 556 more health. That is almost 20% more health than the Unbroken build. But the Unbroken build has 120 more damage, 22 basic armor, and 36 ability armor. Not to mention you have a lot more wave clear with your Thunder Cleaver, and you are taking just slightly less damage with that Exoskeleton. So, you know, it's really kind of a toss-up at this point, I would say, in my opinion as well. If you want more health, that's fine, but you do have ability armor, so... If you use those armors, you've got that great wave clear. I would say, in my opinion, I prefer that Unbroken Spirit build at this 21 point mark. Now, my last test is going to be at 46,000 gold, and that's both with Godmother and that Unbroken Spirit build, but in Unbroken Spirit, I have Yami Guardian as well as Thunder Cleaver. And, you know, we'll kind of see which is really the best, or kind of what you're going for. Now, with Godmother, you have 5,126 health, and you do 126 damage per hit, so 1,260 damage after 10 hits, which is a very solid build, but you are extremely tanky, and you lack a lot of armor, so you don't really have any basic or ability armor other than the passive armor that you get 
you know, automatically. Now I've gone back and you can see I've put on Thunder Cleaver, Unbroken Spirit, and Yami Guardian. And this is going to kind of be a good test. I am significantly lower on health with only 3,875 health, but I do also do a little more damage at 1,480 damage. So I've got a significant damage increase plus that cleave, but I am lacking health as compared to that godmother that has just a crazy amount of health. All right, let's really compare the two. Now with the godmother build, you have 1,251 more health, roughly around 25% more health. You do more damage with the unbroken build at 220 more damage or roughly around 15% more damage, but that is not considering cleave. Now, with the Unbroken build, you also have 46 extra basic armor and 36 ability armor. But with Godmother, you do have a little more mana at 190 extra mana. So, this can help you get off a couple more abilities. All in all, I would have to say that I prefer the Unbroken build over the Godmother build. But the one convenient thing about Godmother is you never have to go back to base unless you need to, you know, refill with health. You can stay in lane, continue to put points on, and you constantly upgrade your kit or your card. So it is a little easier and, uh, you know, almost lazier, but it can make a huge difference by being able to stay in lane for that extended period of time. I can't honestly say which one is the better tank. Godmother, of course, has tons and tons of health, but you can withstand a lot more punishment with that unbroken build, so it's really up to you. Well, that's going to kind of wrap it up, guys. I really hope this video helped, and if you have not had a chance to check out my Knights of Asher build, I did kind of test that one out, and there is a clear winner with that. So if you enjoyed, show me some love, leave me a comment, think about subscribing, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.